All right, welcome back to another video on Free Will Photos. Today, we're going to take a look at a few different ways that we can change the color of a subject or a color of an item. Now, what I have in front of you is the subject. I'm zoomed in really good here uh, at 200%, as you can see at the top of the screen there. And I am going to change the color of this subject's T-shirt. Now, I'm going to start with option two because this is the one that I think many people will go with. And the On One official channel actually released a video recently. Uh, got some uh, comments in there. And I just wanted to show what's happening here. Now, this option right here is the replace color filter that was introduced, I believe, in On One Photo Raw 2021. I could be wrong. Uh, it may have come out in 2020, but it's a relatively new feature. Um, it has some limitations. As you can see, I selected the shirt that was the target color, which was originally gray. And even with the range at 100%, it's still missing some of those grays in the t-shirt. All right. Now I also have a mask applied and I'll show you the mask here. So that way you can see. I, I went in and we'll talk about the mask in a little bit, but moral of the story, there is a mask on the image and there are some challenges there, right? So this is a fairly simple tool to use and it works in probably about 80% of your, your attempts. And don't quote me on that exact percentage. Just know that it does work and it's not a complete fluke. But it's probably not my favorite method of removing or swapping a color in on one. Now, the next option is actually a lot better. As you can see, it actually changes everything. And if I did a better job at uh, masking over here, then this would be even better. I'm using the exact same mask as you've seen on the other image. Uh, just the selection here and I guess I could have cleaned up on the chin but just know that if you spend some time using the mask option there are some better uh, filters that you can use which one of those for this subject here is using a photo filter and the reason why I select the photo filter is because if there is a specific color that you want to change it to you can open up the color panel here and then come over to your RGB sliders and if you're on a Windows machine then the hex color is going to be there but if you're on a Mac then you do have to come over to the sliders select RGB and then you'll see the hex color um, and if you caught my color theory video then you know that you can use this to really fine-tune the color that you want to change something to now that alone is not going to actually make this filter look like it does now it's not going to look as natural of a change right so what you're going to have to do is click on the gear icon and change your blend mode to color it's all the way down here at the bottom so this is what it would look like if you just left it on normal that looks weird doesn't look very good at all right but if i come down here and i select color it's just manipulating the color we got rid of that weird glow that was happening up there. And again, if I mask this out a little bit better, it would be good. It wouldn't be over his uh, chin here as well. Now, here's the other thing that I do want to share with you. Always take your edits in relative to the entire subject, right? If you were to display this somewhere, unless someone is pixel peeping and they zoomed in as far as I did, you probably wouldn't really notice the green on his chin or think much about it. And you definitely can't tell anything over here on his arm. Now, if you are a perfectionist, then I don't recommend you do this type of work inside of On One. I don't believe that that was the intent behind On One being developed and offering these features. All right. Now there is another option that you can try, which is probably my preferred option. And this is inside of the local module. Now, this time I changed the shirt to red, 
but I use the exact same principles and I'm also using the exact same mask. So when we zoom in here, you're going to see that it still has the same challenges that I did before, but because it's a, it, the color that I selected is closer to a skin tone, it blends in a little bit better. So it doesn't stand out as much, but exact same concept. The only reason why I would select using the local filter by clicking on paint with color and then choosing the classic mode is because I now get the options to manipulate exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, and I can really blend the color in and make it look the way that I want it to look with the tone of the image. All right. That's the only reason why I would choose this method over the photo filter method. And you can see I'm still using color as my blend mode or my blend option, but this gives me more uh, capability. Now, I told you that I would talk about the mask. In order to make the mask look the way it does, it did take me a little bit of time. And as you can see, it still wasn't perfect, but this is a combination of using the perfect brush up here at the top and really going through and it's weird because it moved over here instead of coming down over here. I don't know why it's doing that, but um, really messing with the color threshold and the transition as I was painting with the perfect brush uh, to, to really get that honed in. And then also manipulating my feather uh, because some of it I was with a really wide feather and a small brush and just going around the edge like I am there. That's going to clean that piece up uh, and then I'll try and clean up this collar. But this did take time and this is why I'm saying if you want to be precise, I don't recommend you do this type of editing inside of on one. You should probably do this form of manipulation inside of Photoshop or Affinity Photo, something that's a little bit more uh, robust in the selection tools that are available because on one is really about uh, quick edits and making sure that you can get your creative thoughts out and into the world. Um, it's not really meant for the heavy lifting and or at least that's my opinion. I could be wrong. Uh, maybe the intent is that this becomes a heavy lifting uh, software, but it doesn't feel like it. It doesn't function like it. So I would not say to replace Photoshop or Affinity Photo with this uh, because you do need the capability as on one is demonstrating to do more advanced masking and selection techniques. So hopefully that helps with anyone who has the question on why the replace colored may not work the way that they want and it gives you two new options to test out and see if you can replace a color but if at the minimum it gives you just the idea of how you can replace a color without using the replace color filter then i hope that you know you'd be willing to press the like button uh just to you know show some love for the content so if you have questions or comments or concerns, please drop it in the comment section, you know, and do you even try to replace color? Let me know in the comment section below. And until the next time, I want you guys to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.